Oh, this is going to be a great one. What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel, The Gamer Update. We upload three videos a day on some hot topics. If you guys can always send us DMs on some great stories like this. Today, we debate SBMM. It's the annual Call of Duty release SBMM debate, and it's actually brought to you by pro players and casuals. But what do you guys think about SBMM? Leave a comment down below. I'm sure there's going to be plenty. If you come back after an hour, come back and read the comments, and hopefully people on both sides. It was actually a former Call of Duty pro player and one of the greatest of all time, Skump, who has said that this time around for MW3, SBMM is turned up to a whole new level. My opinion, but I think skill base this year is super cranked. And I don't know if that's because the player base is going down or what's happening, but dude, can you attest to it too? Skill base this year feels way worse than any other year. And then people come in and they're like, wow, you're a pro player. You should be able to kill anybody. And it's like, dude, I am using a sidewinder going from camos, uh, getting slide canceled slide by wind. MCWs and rival nines the whole game. And there was a lot of different responses on this. I would say a majority of the responses on this Optic Gaming post, given someone so well like Skump, uh, well liked like Skump, well, a lot of positivity saying, yep, you're right, man. It is turned up beyond belief. If you actually do good in a few games, all of a sudden you're playing against these cracked players. And especially if you're a former pro and a great player like Skump, you're gonna quickly find yourself competing against, like he said, other people who are really trying to gain. I Personally, when me and Hunter heard this clip, we talked about it on stream, I was like, I, maybe, I don't, freak, this is, always, this is where it always gets so heated, right? And it's where it's always so split on SBMM between the hardcore players and the casual players. Speaking from someone like me, I suck, right? So I'm always gonna be playing against, you know, people who are probably average players and still getting turned on and cranked on. And I'm like, SBMM, it is what it is, right? I do want to improve the game. I'm going to hopefully steadily improve and steadily play people who are close to my rank. I don't see anything wrong with that. Playing against players who are closer to my gun skill, that's super cool. The argument made by pro players or hardcore gamers out there is, okay, when do we get to relax and play a casual game? Because if you play so good for so long, your lobbies will forever be stacked against really good players. And so they want easier lobbies, either for content, relaxation, or just to have a good time while playing Call of Duty. But the verse argument of that would be, okay, if I'm a sucky gamer and all of a sudden Skump is in my lobby, why is that fair? That is the SBMM debate right there. And I, I understand both sides. Uh, but where do you guys fall? You know, do you like it or do you not? And we actually had someone like Hutch have responses on this. Uh, I think he's more so of the side of like, if you're a really good Call of Duty player, why don't you want to play against other good Call of Duty players? Like, how does that, you know, make sense? Uh, I think he's definitely strongly on one side of the argument versus what the pro players are trying to say. And even someone like Hex has slightly agreed, you know, not being a pro player, he's like, hey, if you're that good at Call of Duty, what gives you the right to go up against noobs? You know, like, where's the fun in that for Jimmy at home, sitting on his couch 12 feet away from his TV, having to go up against a Call of Duty pro player? So, like, you know, it, it, there's both sides for sure. Because some of the stuff that he says, like, I super agree with, especially if I am your level skill. Like, why the fuck would you want to play against people who are worse than you? Because that's what made Christmas noobs and pub stomping fun. It's like, now it's like... That's why you have rank play ideally soon. That's why if I want to go and play against players my skill level and just actually sweat and compete, I'll go to rank play. I don't want to do that in pubs every game. Like pubs are where I think to a certain level you should be able to just listen to music, chill and frag out and drop nukes. There are some freaks like I think reading it and talking about it, yeah, I'm like, okay, that does make sense. But when you actually play, it's just annoying. Whereas like back in the day, like I said, Christmas noobs were like the highlight I mean, that's, that was the thing. Christmas noobs, everyone's new to the game. And also, I think it also just, uh, like, I think I think matching worse players up against worse players is kind of like a participation trophy type-esque thing. Whereas, like, back in the day, you had to fucking suck to get better. Like, when you went to a local land, you didn't complain about playing against Scump and Assassin and Twiz and all the, the, the pros because you have to play against the best to be the best. So... Back in the day, you have if you sucked, you had to continue sucking to get better, mm -hmm. or you had to get off. Like yeah. that—that that was the way it works. And now, 
there, there isn't that anymore. Now everything is sort of gifted to you. There's no more working to get better. But right here it's saying that you have to work for it. Eight million impressions Hutch got on this tweet because it's so many people disagreed with him. And look, I everybody knows, and I'm not, listen, I know that because of who I am, how old I am, people tend to dismiss my Call of Duty skills, you included. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you killed me the other day. But, but, like, if... Winning after losing several matches in a rows in, in GB was the best feeling ever. And I and and I like Hutch. I don't know why. I like I don't like to play against people that I'm better than. I wanna I wanna be better. No man, I think I think ranked is for the, the sweatiness and I think like you should be able to have some fun in pubs, whereas right now pubs is like I was playing it last night and I feel like I'm playing ranked. Like yeah. everybody is sort of my Maybe not my actual level, but when you're playing against six people who are good enough, yeah. there's only so many areas you can look at, and yeah. it just makes like the casual gaming experience, I think, a little more um, frustrating because you prefer no skill based matchmaking. I, I prefer that way the ranked just playlist. Random, like and like I, sometimes you run up someone good. Yeah, but the just, majority yeah. of the time you just run to regular people. Luck who, of the draw, yeah. But what about them though? What about those people that log in? They just bought the game. They log in and they run into you, fucking Seth, and whoever else you're teaming up with, and they literally get no kills against you. That's the way it used to be. What changed? More people. They were still playing a lot back then. Yeah. COD Four, MW Two. And instead of me choosing a side, because I understand where the pro players are coming from, but I also lean towards the other side of like, yeah, SBMM is, is going to be a thing. I'm a casual gamer. I don't want to go up against pro players. And then the vice versa, pro players, they want to go up against noobs like me so they can put me in a YouTube video when they drop a nuke, you know? It's never going to be fair both ways. For me, though, the one thing I've always leaned on in this argument is not one side or the other. It's the fact that an SBMM should be in the ranked mode and there should be a more casual game mode alongside that have ranked be your SBMM, and then have a casual mode where it's a bit more rng and have those two modes side by side and people can choose one or the other but we know with call of duty they ain't gonna give us ranked right at launch they're gonna make us wait for it because classic classic big corp but like, look at Fortnite. One of the best times I've had in Fortnite is, you know, earlier on, I'm not sure how it is nowadays, but you could play against absolute bots or really bad people in one mode. And if you want to go ranked, you go to the arena mode and that's how they keep it somewhat separate. Now I'm sure there's SPMM in that regular mode too, to a certain degree, but maybe not so much as Call of Duty supposedly has it turned on. So where do you guys land on the SBMM debate? Give me, give me a paragraph. Give me an actual reasoning. You have the one side of the hardcore pro players. They want to go up every, every now and again against some noobs, against some really bad players for content, to relax, to play the game casually, even though they're pro players and really, really freaking good at the game. And vice versa, noobs like me, I'm like, SBMM is fine because then I'll play against other noobs and progressively get better and better. And hopefully as I get better, I play against better players and rise through the ranks with them, you know? So I see both sides. What do you guys see? Till next time, take care of yourselves. All right, drink up, water and coffee. We'll catch you back here soon.